소리. 관리자님 주변에 계신 분들은 참 다양한 소리로 위협하시네요. 몇몇 분이 제외하면 의미 없는 소음에 불과한 데도 말이죠. What's up, everybody? I'm Shadow Ravenous, and this is the irony of gaming. <clears throat> this video here is uh, going to be a little different. I'm starting a series called Counterside Case Studies, where I choose a unit and I talk about, I basically talk about the unit, um, how well they synergize with other units to fit into teams, to create strategies, and also what gear sets would work for that unit, along with adding bit of other information that people may not may or may not know of um, so so far for what we're starting with now right now for the first video is of course maestra Nequisha. now for maestra Nequisha, let's check out what her information is now she is a tower unit and from here we could check her information Let's go with her stats first. So her stats is basically as a default, let's say if she was a level 100 unit, her HP would be 99,938 and her defense would be 1,295. Now she naturally has a high defense, so that would naturally increase to about, to about it's about 56% higher, which means that she has pretty good defense, which means that adding specific gear sets that that uh pertains to defense wise could be very beneficial to her now her, let's check out her profile maestra nequisha <coughs> um date of first observation february 18th her interpersonal dynamics is unknown her cluster reaction is the center of her chest. I would I would assume that based on the lore and the story, basically her core would be right here since she is a CO. Now her lingering will, still unknown. Her biometric signals is a demogorgon. Her form is a levitating type, so she levitates. She doesn't walk anywhere. And her first, uh, the first observed death is a variable death. And the caution, what is her caution? Well, the caution is that she shatters minds. She's a mind shatterer. Now, her entity danger level, what's her corruption rate? The corruption rate intensity is a category 5. So she is a category 5 CEO. Her corruption level beyond scale is well her catacomb corruption level is beyond scale and her hostility pretty aggressive now the service now her surface collapse level that would be a corruption disaster so she i mean it would make sense she is a category five and she is you know a cl so she's been corrupted um the leadership her leadership is commanding large hordes besides her personal team that she normally has when she's you know committing her performances and let's see now i'm gonna be real with you on this one maestra she's a pretty powerful unit she is however she's pretty expensive she's really expensive in like investing the gear for her it may, I mean, it may cost you, it'll cost you a lot of credits and you're going to need a little bit of luck. Now, what she normally benefits off of is no doubt the HP. The HP does, ben she benefits a lot off of the HP and, but she also, def she also benefits a lot from the defense. And I think that it's probably an important thing to also get all her skills up there. Now, her basic attacks. <coughs> is at level five so at level five like basically her basic attacks is is it adds to her speed so she becomes faster with each level and that's and that's basically her basic skills now when it reaches a level five it grants stacks every it grants a stack every six seconds now maestra Nequ Nequisha is 
deployed near the ship. So basically, when you summon her, she's deployed all the way at the back of the ship. So it doesn't matter where you drag her at. Like you know, when you have we see the little preview that's set from there. No matter where you drag her at, she will always end up at the back of the uh, the back of the ship. And when she's deployed near the ship, she moves forward while um, ignoring enemies. While at least one of her performer is on the field, she grants all enemies on the battlefield, excluding bosses, a stack of Requiem of the Dead every three seconds. Each stack decreases HP by 0.1%. 0.4 percent in the gauntlet so she got she got a little bit of an increase from there which it makes sense because a lot of units will normally be gunning for her when she's trying to reach uh, a specific part of the map um now this is for per second this effect now stacks up to 10 times and it grants a, and it grants stacks every six seconds instead if you get her up to level five now her passive skills is a certain distance summons an additional performer each performer adds attack negative 1.5 percent damage taken amped and the it amps it amplifies that by a plus 1.5 percent and incoming healing well negative five percent in order to in order to the the Requiem of the Dead effect. These additional effects are also applied to the bosses. Now, basically, what happens is she she deals a, she deals a lot of debuffs with that type of passive over time. Um, now, as a level five, when level five happens, she becomes immune to damage for five seconds, where her HP drops to fifty percent or lower. This could be very helpful in in a way of keeping her alive, making sure that she completes her objective when you summon her to the field. <clears throat> now she does have another passive, which is the Elysium uh, Philharmonic. Now, let's see. Now this one is, it can't be affected by stun. She can't be affected by stun, sleep, confusion, knockback, hit stun, decreased ASPD which is basically your attack speed, incoming healing, and and healing is decreased by a negative uh, 50%. Ally Elysium Philharmonics members, excluding herself, are granted attack attack buffs of 5%, crit, uh, crit with 10%, and it generates an additional note when casting a special skill now when getting this level up to level five um each member will get a uh, skill haste of 25 percent now with each level each of the members become stronger they be as long as maestro is on the field attack 10 percent crit 20 percent this one right here well lower level you get an attack of five percent ten percent for the crits <clears throat> so it's great to get her up to level five because she's making everybody powerful, which means that, every, and she's off, also offering the members twenty-five percent skill haste, which means that offering that much skill haste is going to cause them to just pop off with their special skills and their ultimate skills like crazy. Especially if you're going to add another unit, like let's say Yang Harim or Lelouch Glambruge or. Uh, um or adding uh lulu to the field because those units they increase the skill haste and also awaken shinja which also increases the skill haste of the team this could be very 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 damaging to the enemy and very like very effective if you can manage to pull off the strategy now her ultimate is basically uh the chapter of the apocalypse now <clears throat> now what that does is that uh, can only be cast in the center of the field adds five stacks of requiem of the dead and increases the effect by 1.4 times after casting teleports near the ship stops moving forward granting stacks 
of the Requiem of the Dead. While becoming immortal for 25 seconds, when the stat when the state of immortality ends, the effect is cancelled. Basically what happens is when Maestro gets to the middle of the map, she ten she will activate her ultimate, thus completely decimating the entire team. Now what happens is if you get it into uh, level 5, it increases the Requiem of the Dead effect by 3 times instead. It seals off all enemy skills and nullifies all enemy buffs for 12 seconds when casting. Now, there, there have been ways that some people would activate such skills where they could ignore her effects. Or if you have somebody that could nullify those buffs right after Maestra sets those off, that is possible. However, it, it would take a little bit of timing, uh, good timing, in order to counter such a thing. But when she does activate her effects, she's completely immune to the damage. She cannot die at all. And once she's done with the performance, she'll go right back to the back of the map. Well, she'll go right to the back of the ship again, and she'll have immortality for a set of time. And once the immortality ends, she she tends to move back towards the um, the map, the middle of the map again to activate her effect over and over again. <clears throat> so now the gear sets that's all set for her. Um, let's see. So, <clears throat> so basically, what the the gear sets that you probably would want for Nequisha is Nequisha would basically she 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 thrives off of HP sets. Um, you could use an HP set on her. You could use a defense set on her. But what she normally thrives off of the most, I would say, would be for the speed. It's very good to, to add speed towards this. Now, I know that there are some people who tends to use like they, you know, they would normally use like a full HP set, which it, it does work. But honestly, in my personal experience, I would use those HP sets and sometimes she would just get annihilated. Whereas if I use an HP set and a defense set, she tends to survive a little bit longer. But, I mean, yeah, she still can get killed, like, pretty fast if you have nobody that's defending her. However, the, one, of the, one of the gear sets which you could use is um, you could use an inhibitor relics gear, which if you can manage to get one that has speed, that'd be phenomenal. And you're always going to, and when you're doing PvP, she's going, she's going to be going up against a lot of counters. And most counters at times and it's always nice to have that little four percent that's good for the resist them and also you could have the anti-ground damage uh re resistance for like 16 percent i find that she does pretty well with this now there this is just one of many strategies that you can use with maestra and this is just one of many gear sets that you could use with maestra but um this is the one that i prefer to use I added a nice 20, you could have a nice 20% of defense with this here. And it's always nice to have a set of HP and it's always nice to have speed. When, you, when you're putting specific gear like this, especially with swift gear, which Maestra benefits the most out of most, out of most units that's in this game, is the speed. And if you can get lucky enough to get the speed up there, you you can make a very very scary maestra now adding the first skills is nothing with nothing but speed is also a good thing and if you can add a little bit of ranger uh damage resistance this is what i have on mines and then i have the rest of it as ground resistance now the reason why i have it as the range defense uh range damage resistance is because there are a lot of enemies out there especially the awakened ones that can just shoot her from a distance and if she doesn't have that type of def that uh that type of defense that goes against with the anti-range they can tear her to shreds <laughs> i'm gonna be real with you on that they can tear her to shreds like they can kill her in seconds if you're not careful about this now what you normally want to be careful about too is um 
Uh, no, actually, hold on. I'm gonna hold off on that one. So these, so this is this is just one of the sets that I use for her, and then there's another set that I was experimenting with, which you could use uh, this set here, which could be pretty good. Um, you can, if you can, if like this this set right here, you can find this within the gauntlets within the gauntlet section of like in the gauntlet shop you can buy these sets here it's nice because it has evasion which she can benefit off of the evasion which is really good and also there's a ship that complements this for her now what you can do too is um you know it's always nice to have again nice counter set nice speed for skill having a nice inhibitor gear from here with a nice set of speed from there um but yeah if, if you can manage to get swift gear she will benefit the most out of that what you want to be aiming for is i would say the evasion there would be no reason to really put hit on her i mean if anybody know if anybody has ever benefited off of the the hit gear by using maestra uh let me know down in the uh down in the description you know, down in the comments and stuff like that, and um, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be curious to, like, I would like to be, you know, I would like to know if, you know, if such a thing can work with her on this. Um, but usually, you would want evasion. You know, it's, it, it'll add, it, you know, any, any type of evasion helps, it, because it'll help keep her alive. and it'll cause her to actually dodge a few of these attacks, deflect them, whatever. I unfortunately do not have a better set for evasion, uh, the evasion gear set, so I have no choice but to use this one. The only one that I do have is one right here where it's based on HP, but I personally like to have speed on there because I want to get her to, to the half of the map as soon as possible. Now, this could be this could also be a good thing too if you can get HP for her and then have a little bit of speed here. This will keep her alive a lot longer. And uh, yeah, so I would. So if anything, if you were if you were going to use Maestra, I would I would personally use the Swift gear and the Inhibitor gear if you can get speed on there on the uh, latent ability. Now there is a there is a, another now there is another gear set that that the game itself the game itself has made a recommendation on and this would be the legacy wild relic hands now the thing is the thing is with the thing is with that is i personally would not understand why you would want to use something like that only based off of i guess the, the only thing that i could see that how this would work with maestra would be let me see where is it i think i think i have a, a few of the gear set here ah there we go okay so my thing my, my thing is, is that i would think that it would have to be the incoming healing that she could probably benefit off of that would probably be that would probably be the one of the things that i would think she would benefit off of and having the HP so the incoming healing that she receives that could help her out and the HP percentages could increase on this and like the second skill I don't see I, don't, I personally do not see a reason why you would want to have this here and I think that that would be very detriment very detrimental to the to the unit because I don't think that like I don't know like you guys could correct me if you if I'm wrong on this one here if she benefits from these type of abilities but I personally would think that she would need defenses in order to in order to survive longer so that she can keep you know uh, using her abilities the way that she uses them now <clears throat> now the income of healing could be pretty nice it is you know it can heal her a lot I don't know how I don't know how consistent this would be though because i mean you come you're going up against a lot of powerful awakened units and that could cause a lot of problems for you nice you could you could give her the 24 percent of the hp 
Now, she does give a speed of 15%, which is pretty cool in that. But the only problem with that is that you would need four. You need four of that equip. You need four of that gear set that has speed in order just to get a measly 15%. I don't know. It it doesn't seem it doesn't seem like the the proper thing to do when it comes to this type of gear set however if you mix this in with with the new unit uh plaga along with the ship and having another unit that increases uh speed this could be something this could be something that you would want to use but i mean it, it may, it may, it's not it's not one of the it's not like the you know the end all be all type of things but it, it, it could it could have potential but i still wouldn't think that it would be like the top thing that you would want to focus on for maestra now <clears throat> now in terms of um Yeah, it would be, be cool. It would be cool to get her up to uh, 110 just to give her more HP and give her more defense. And it's always nice to have a little bit of evasion on her and having the speed set right. Now, with this current gear that I have on here, she currently would have 33% speed. Now, Nequisha benefits a lot off of not just that gear set which gives her 33 percent now when you check out the where is it ah when you check out the ships what ships would you normally use for uh maestra well the ships that you could do is you could use the lake superior whereas if you if you're more interested in keeping her alive a lot longer you could use the shield, which could give her a lot of good things like barriers. And you can even possibly use this to try and, um, like, you know, your allies get damage reduction by 12% for 10 seconds. This could help out. And this could push the enemy to a uh, closer, you know, closer to the, to the middle. But that could also turn against you on that because you know you're pushing them all to the middle which means that they're going to focus more of their fire on maestra which could get her killed now now and plus two you're going to have us um a lower set of speed when it comes down to that now <coughs> if you now if you want to now if you're focused more on speed that is well this is the ship that can help you out a lot because not only does it give you a lot of speed where um, yeah so it gives you so when the unit is deployed their speed and their attack speed goes up by 30% for eight seconds now if you have the gear set that I have on there where she has 33% this could easily give you 60% speed for her within eight seconds not only that but you could also use the advanced gunfire wave uh, which is a special ability of the ship where it drops like more units on the field and this could also help prove as a distraction to the other teams which they can defend Maestro a little bit longer to help Maestro reach the other half of the map and of course you can use this ship here which is the chorus now this ship here is specifically built for Maestra teams, basically Maestra and her entire unit. Um, it can be a little bit tricky to use, depending on how, depending on your style of play. Whether you're trying to do rushes or you're just stalling to get your units out, you know, get all your units out before getting Maestra out. Um, you could use this right here because it increases the evasion by 50%. For 12 seconds, for the Elysium members, it'll be 600. Uh, plus 600 to a uh, plus 600 points to the evasion which is pretty good it's pretty good when when using it at the right time especially if she's getting close to the map this will give her a lot more a lot more of an open window in reaching the half of the map so she can wipe the whole entire team out now this also the advanced sound wave also gives a nice 
<clears throat> a nice debuff to the enemy team, which does a negative 50% of the hit and also the attack speed, which is which can really, really cause it. Uh, it can it can it can cause a good difference. It can, it can make a really good difference to this. Now, Nequisha can also benefit off of the Tempest. She can she can benefit she can definitely benefit off of the tempest because you can like it's just like the blue bridge where you can you know set a set of extra teams uh, extra set of units to fight against the enemy team to keep Maisha alive so she can reach the half of the map and also the advanced bulwark deployment which is very good in causing distractions because it, I think it I think it wait does it do that. I think it does attract aggro. Dealing AoE damage. Yeah, dealing AoE damage to three enemies. For two seconds. Max included. Does not apply to the target's exceeding valid hits. Additionally, increases defense and damage reduction by 25% for all allies within range. This is really good. <coughs> this this can cause um this can add like a you know a lot more defense re uh damage reduction for your units which can help keep my show alive now now what you're probably thinking is okay so i got the i got the gear down and i have the ships down so what about the operators well the operators I would say, like for for me personally, I use um, uh, Sysop. I use him because he happened to get speed, and he adds an an extra eleven percent speed to Maestro, which I have to say it does it does help out. It does help out at times. Um, what his skill is that he instantly restores the develop the deployment cost, and grants roll advantage damage by fifteen percent. To all deployed allies for 10 seconds this is kind of i guess you could say this is kind of a niche thing a little bit on here but i'm usually there for the cost it may not do it may not do that much of a may not make that much of a benefit right now as it is of course you need more copies of him however every little bit counts especially when you especially since maestra is an expensive unit to use since she's a seven cost uh I, but i use sysop myself and Olivia can be very good as well. She can be good, especially if, like, let's say if you're going to get a Maestro build and you're interested in just a Maestro build, you could potentially just use her for that ability here and then try to find a, a nice little speed on there. However, you could just keep it like this too, where Maestro will benefit off of this as well, which could keep Maestro alive a lot longer. Now for Sigma, Sigma can potentially uh, be good for this unit as well, especially if you can get like speed or maybe AOE damage based off of this, where she adds like the the, the roll damage. <clears throat> now, now, now you have your operators all set up. So what about the units, right? So the units, there's a now there's there's plenty of units there's there's plenty of units that could help out my show because there's there's so many different strategies out there. That's that's what that's what's the glory of this game is is that Maestro like it, like the glory of this game is is that there's tons and tons of strategies different strategies different units that can work well with each other on here and it's nice that there's not just you know three strat three strategies that'll only work so one of the one of the units that i would think that is probably the best idea on is i would say lin so Lin is one of the one of the is one of the good units that you can use on a Maestra team. She synergizes pretty well with her. Why? Because when she's summoned to the field, she grants a cost, uh, a cost increase. So a deployment resource recovery plus one. Right now, it says like the daughter, the daughter of the 
content of the continental business tycoon she's awake she's awakened to the mysterious power upon becoming a counter instantly restores one deployment cost upon deployment now when you get this up to level five that increases it to two now if you can manage to get her ultimate off she instantly restores three deployment resources however if you get this level five that becomes now a plus one <clears throat> along with a cooldown of eight seconds this can benefit greatly because as soon as maestra gets to the field and she does what she does with her abilities and she's head right back into the map guess what you can redeploy maestra again using her ability which then if you have enough and your units aren't aren't close to death by you know by the enemy by the enemy team you can redeploy Maestra and Maestra will move and skip that, you know, skip that uh, that debuff effect that she gets when she, you know, when she's like, when she activates her ultimate and she's, she's basically, she's basically immobile and, in, and have that immor the immortality effect. You can easily just skip that by just redeploying her. Now... Another unit that could that uh, Nakrisha can be, she can benefit greatly off of this. I would say is let's see, let's see, supporters. Shinja is another good unit. She can, she can. If, if you can manage to summon her, it'll be a little tricky just because of the, how the cost is. But she can benefit. She can benefit off of the team from this having supports like her. Whereas, you know, she's offering a nice set of skill haste and, you know, barriers. She could heal. <clears throat> Nanahara. Nanahara Chinatsu. She's, a, she's another good one because she can heal the unit. She can heal the team. And she grants damage reduction to the allies. So she can keep Maestra alive a little bit longer. What's this one? Now, another unit I would say is Arius. Arius is pretty, I would say Arius is pretty good. She's pretty good at keeping units alive and summoning her actually heals allies upon deployment. So if Maestro is almost close to death or if she took some damage, you can quickly deploy Arius to the field before Maestro reaches half HP, which then triggers her other ability, which then gives her that, in, you know, the invulnerable to all attacks for a few seconds. You can easily use Arius to increase the health, to increase her health, to prevent her from going into the half HP, before, you know, just just to keep just to stave it off for a little bit longer and then she also uh uses her specials to give barriers and her ultimate also restores hp and cast barriers equal to the max hp so she's a pretty good unit in keeping alive you just gotta make sure to keep arias alive when during the battlefield and stuff like that now regina regular regina can also help out too because she can use the ice barriers that she has here and the ice barriers can also increase can also grant barriers to uh to allies who are surrounded by it not only that but the barriers the ice barriers actually attract aggro so they'll they'll go for the ice barriers first before doing anything else on this now claudia claudia can be good with um with Maestro as well. Any unit, any set of units like Claudia, Evelyn, <clears throat> who has it give, giving them enough time to help heal Maestra, that can help. And of course, Carmen could help out a lot with the healing as well when having Maestra. You don't need to have so many healers and stuff like that. Um, I'm going to make another, I'm going to make a demonstration video later on on the maestra builds and stuff like that hopefully that'll help you guys out <coughs> uh yang harem is also a great unit to use with maestra in terms of uh you know she increases the skill haste and she also heal she, she also she can heal but she also grants barriers to maestra which can help keep her alive 
and now in terms of in terms of like distracting your enemies Gremory will be great at this when distracting enemies she can easily she can easily distract enemies from there by putting them to sleep Lulu is another one who can do the same thing where if you can manage to get her ultimate out she can put them to sleep now there is one interesting thing about this is that if you can manage to get Lulu to put the enemy to sleep before Maestra activates her ultimate, it's kind of interesting because Maestra's effect does not wake up. It does not interrupt the sleep. So you'll have the team falling asleep while suffering from that plague damage. So I'm not sure if that's intended or not, but it has happened and... Maybe maybe that is intentional, which means that that can be a very deadly uh, combination. <laughs> and also, too, I believe, yeah, also, too, Lulu also increases the defense of all allies by 15% for six seconds, <clears throat> which is which is pretty dope. Now, what you can normally do, too, is that with a tower unit, having another tower unit, you can easily add uh, Rafaela to this because she can keep the enemy back for, um, you know, to buy some time. And she's very phenomenal at doing this. And it could cause she could very she could really cause problems for the enemy team in trying to trying to destroy Maestra. And trying to prevent her from reaching the halfway into the map. Now, Spira is also a good unit in because when she reaches a certain amount of health, she'll move, she'll dash closer to the enemy's um, ship, which will cause a lot of problems for them. And <clears throat> and she will attract aggro to it, to the enemies on there, and they will focus on Spira. <clears throat> But um, yeah, um, there, there there's plenty other uh, units that's out there from there. But in the generic, like the, I guess you could say in the generic sense of it, those are the units that you could use to really make Maestra to really make Maestra synergize well with other teams when if you're planning to use her on there. Oh yes, I almost forgot. Rearm Alex. <clears throat> you can use tanks like it's always good to have tanks when you're playing teams with maestra um i'm that's that's also going to show i'm also going to show that in another video a demonstration video with maestra but having tanks like rearm alex or rearm casey bins you know or even having hilda or ray these the these units are pretty good in at least you know buying some time for Maestra to reach halfway into the map <clears throat> to, you know, to get off her objective and stuff like that. But it's always good to have some tanks. You're going to need some tanks to definitely keep them alive. Definitely. Um, now, the one thing that you would have to be mindful of and you got to be careful is that when it comes to Nayubin, <laughs> uh, just be my, just be careful when you're going up against Nayubin because Nayubin has a very, very powerful specialty in killing tower units just by being on the field because tower units will take a large amount of periodic health damage, which will kill Nakuisha in like seconds. <laughs> and it will it, it will destroy Maestra in seconds. Especially if you put barriers on there and you know, Nayubi can use Barrier Reflux. Uh, Karin can use Barrier Reflux. Um, Yuna, she can. She has an ability where I think, yeah, she recovers. Let me see. Um, she has an ability which, null. Yeah, she she can nullify the buffs, and that could cause a lot of problems. <clears throat> Especially, especially if you give her, you know, her reactor, she could cause a lot of issues there. So it's, you know, just be mindful when you have Maestro on the field. If you see these units on the field, you know, Karin, Nayubin, Yuna, 
beam and um what is it uh there's another unit yeah even even maria <coughs> just uh, be mindful with it you know oh chi yoon he could also become a problem for her jake can also become a problem I, I would say possibly maybe all the awakens could become a huge problem for her so you know just make sure you have some units that can counteract these these other units or at least keep them at bay long enough to keep them alive to keep maestro alive so she could reach halfway into the map um i do know that naiubin himself can cause a lot of issues and yeah <laughs> But there's, but like everything else, there's there's always a strategy and a workaround with it. It just depends on the units that you want to use for that. But other than that, yeah, this is uh, this is the counterside case studies for Maestra. Um, if you did find this helpful and you and it gave you some some type of ideas that or you know for what you can use for a team. What type of gear sets that it is? Let me know in the comments. I like to know what you know, what strats that you use for the Maestra, and um, you know what what other gear sets that that could possibly be good for this unit. Um, I, would, I would like to know. And um, yeah, if you liked the video and found it helpful, feel free to leave a like. And if you didn't like the video, well, feel free to leave a dislike. Catch you guys later.